There are two main types of blockchains, public and private, each of their pros, cons, and best fit applications. But for now, we will differentiate between them by looking at their methods of verifying transactions. By taking this approach, you'll be able to view these blockchains as they exist in practical applications. In a public blockchain, which is commonly referred to as a permissionless blockchain, cryptocurrencies and other tokens are exchanged in an open source program. The public blockchain is classified as permissionless, as there are no inhibitors preventing one participant from transacting with another participant. No one single person or entity has control over the blockchain. Furthermore, there are no defining requirements to the terms of a transaction that can be agreed upon. In a private blockchain network, also known as a permissioned blockchain, each entity in the network is known and identified in transactions with one another. Permission networks are common in business to business or enterprise settings, where there is a governing body defining clear actions that each participant is able to partake in. When a transaction is agreed upon, there are nodes that the transaction must successfully pass to be confirmed. The nodes can be specific terms of an agreement, a smart contract, which is an automatic transactional function that acts upon real market data, or an auditing tool ensuring each party possesses the assets to complete the transaction. Don't worry, we'll circle back to these tools when we discuss blockchain use cases in a future video. To create blocks on the network, the proof of work protocol must be evident. Block miners, who use algorithm-based computing power to identify the ideal hash for transactions, compete for the right to add blocks to the chain. The winner of each block is rewarded with a redeemable token for their work. This is what's known as proof of work, a strategy of creating competition to add blocks to the chain, which incentivizes miners to work increasingly faster to claim the reward. Similar to proof of work is the concept of proof of stake. This is more common in private blockchains. But the participants are known and required to show their engagement and investment in the blockchain. This is done to have the right to verify transactions or vote for actions that can benefit the blockchain. This is ideal for private blockchains because it helps ensure that those participants that make the biggest investments have more incentive to stay involved in the network. This also relates to proof of authority, which is almost exclusively for private blockchains. In this verification system, a predetermined set of participants are given administrative control of the blockchain. This type of blockchain is ideal for a private enterprise rollout of an auditing blockchain or a blockchain built for regulators. 